Hey, welcome to Drawing Through Luke. I'm Steve Thomason, and I am working on making a graphic novel for the Gospel of Luke. It's the third in a series. I've done uh, Matthew and Mark already. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I use the Comic Draw app on my iPad to make this graphic novel. Let's jump in. <music> So first of all, let's just do the basics. You create a comic, and I scroll down, and I'm going to use their standard comic size. And the way it works is, first of all, you can split the screen, and you can show both the page and the script side by side. And if you type in page, it'll automatically show a page break. And then you type panel, and it automatically recognizes a panel. You can type the description of the panel in here as much as you want. And then when you type uh, CAP colon or caption, it will recognize a caption and whatever you type next, it will put inside the caption. And then if you write a character or, you know, a new panel, uh, type a character's name with a colon, it will automatically recognize a dialogue balloon. We'll do a couple more dialogue balloons. We'll do a couple more panels, then a page break. And then you can start laying out the page. You just drag that panel from the script right into the page. It's so cool. And then when you drag the word balloons and the captions inside the panel, you can actually move the whole panel around. It's just amazing. So it's pretty easy to lay out your page right from your script. So you think through the panels first. Now you bring in the word balloons, you can, um, once you get it all laid out, then you can actually start formatting the word balloons. And so you hit that paintbrush and you can come up and you can choose a new font. And Comic Draw comes with all kinds of cool comic book fonts. I'm choosing Digital Script Strip here. That's my favorite. And you can change uh, how it fits in the balloon. You can change the line spacing. Um, uh, up or down, you can change the font size, and you're just, you know, it's an iPad, you're touching all of these things and making these changes. It's pretty cool. And then, um, you know, you can change the tail to curved or straight or whatever. And then you can drag the tail around, you can manipulate it. It's so intuitive. And then when you get a format that you like, you can just hit the plus arrow and save it. So then you can check, uh, click on the next word balloon and just choose that pre formatted. It makes it so fast and easy, and then you can always just readjust every word balloon as you go. Um, so uh, that's the basics, and what I want to do now is show you that I can add a second page, and it will automatically recognize that second page on your script. Now, the another cool thing about comic draw is it has three basic layers and if you go to the bottom layer it's called the sketching layer so i'm just taking a, a a pencil brush and i'm roughing out my panels on the sketch layer so uh, this is page one and you know at the, up at the top i want to talk about luke and then you, know, you can just get a rough sketch quick super quick thumbnail of how you want the page to be laid out <music> You can see here I've got all 24 pages now in my document and if I split the screen when I flip the pages it goes to that page in the script and I've marked my pages uh, so that I don't ever get lost but that's a pretty cool feature and you go back in the page uh, so it synchronizes the script with the panel layout it's pretty amazing and so I have that app on my iPad as well. So I did all the layout on my desktop, you know, as I've shown in previous videos where I've color coded the whole gospel. And, but now I can have it open and, and make the screen a little narrower so that I can have the actual biblical text right next to my Comic Draw app. And that is just amazing. So now uh, let's start actually showing how we're going to be sketching. You can see I've done a little, little bit of work on this, but um, on this left hand, I'm going to go down to the sketching layer. And this these four panels in this column here are the story of uh, Zechariah and the temple. 
And so Gabriel has just muted him. And so he's stepping outside of the temple in front of the crowd. So just using the pencil brush to do a quick layout of Zechariah standing. And he's like, I can't speak. Now I'm going to show you how you don't have to rely on the script for making every word balloon. You can just there's drag from the left hand column right into the frame and then you just double tap it and start writing. I'm using an app, an iPad pencil so you can actually write in there and it will translate it into text, which is pretty cool. Or you can type if you have a keyboard on your iPad and um, and then you can manipulate and format this. Open up the paintbrush, format the font, um, you know, choose whatever you want. I got digital strip again and uh, make it regular. And you can just manipulate that word balloon, move the tails around. It's pretty amazing. One of the troubles I'm having with this Luke project is that there's so much text. And so I, I initially pasted in all of Mary's Magnificat in chapter one, and it's just way too many words. So I'm opening up my script and I'm editing out, basically giving an abridged version of the Magnificat. And you can see how easy it is just to, to edit the text. And I dragged a new word balloon in there and open up my format and choosing my favorite pre-formatted word balloon. So I'm going to get it just the right size, move it over here to replace the new one. You can see that that fits a little bit nicer. So I'm going to zoom in here and show you how you can actually arrange. If you go to arrange and hit clip to panel, it's a really nice feature. It'll um, make that word balloon pop behind the panel. Now in this panel, the word balloons are kind of crazy, all these tails. So if you take this extension balloon from the left and drag it up into the one you want to extend, I'm going to cut the text from this balloon and paste it into this extension balloon and then uh, resize it, make it fit just the way I want it to fit. And this is actually going to replace the other one. So you can see how it's an extension and it stretches. I'm going to delete this one, get rid of that. And then when I drag it over, it's this cool extension. And anywhere I take it, that extension tail will go with it. It's just so cool. And the same thing. So that's Gabriel. And now I want Mary's to extend. So I'm going to drag that extension over. Then I'm going to uh, drag it down below. So you can see the flow of the dialogue, right? So I'll get that balloon just the size I want it. Come over here, um, cut and uh, cut that out of there. Paste it into the new extension balloon. Boom. Get rid of that old one. And now I have to arrange this balloon so that it'll be at the bottom. And that way it pops behind Gabriel's balloons. And so that's pretty cool. I got to uh, get that panel to go behind so that I can grab this one. And you can see these things are all just layered and it just fits nicely behind it. That just cleans up that panel so much. <laughs> finish off this video, I'm going to show you how you can ink. So the middle layer in Comic Draw is the art layer. And it's uh, it ought, when you go to the art layer, it automatically makes the sketching layer trans, you know, like oh, transparent. And then I'm going to go to an inking brushes and choose ink brush. Uh, zoom in and I'll just uh, start inking away on my Luke character. I don't know what Luke actually looks like. Of course, nobody does. But I'm drawing him as kind of a clean-shaven, short-haired Greek type character because what we do know about Luke is that he joined up with the Apostle Paul in Troas during Paul's uh, second missionary journey. And it's Luke's Greek in his writing is just so good that it really seems like he was a native Greek speaker an educated man. Many believe that he was a physician that came along with Luke to help, uh, came along with Paul to help Paul. So this is how I ink and uh, I will be inking through the entire thing right in comic draw. And that's pretty cool.
Hey, thanks for joining me in this episode of Drawing Through Luke. I'm looking forward to this project as I, now that I'm in the drawing phase and start cranking out some pages, getting ready for Christmas. It's just a month away. So if you enjoyed this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll share it with your friends, and that you'll go to the digital page for the Gospel of Luke at cartoonistbible.com. A cartoonist guide to the Bible and uh, dig in. All right, we'll see you next time.